All right, up until the introduction of water base and all the EPA regulations on VOCs and whatever, the number one finish used, particularly commercially, was lacquer, simply put. And one of the earliest lacquers that's been around forever is the nitrocellulose lacquer. Now, if you look, this is Sherman Williams. Let me make sure I get, yeah, it says moisture resistant lacquer. It's, and you see in Sherman Williams, they call it a medium rub. That's a set. It's basically a nitrocellulose lacquer. Deft says brushing lacquer doesn't matter. Now, depth is supposed to be non yellowing. One of the issues with a nitrocellulose lacquer is they do yellow. Uh, but they've been around forever. They're not the most durable finish out there by most standards. They're far better than a shellac. Um, they're far better than a boiled linseed oil or a pure tongue oil or anything like that. But they're not, let's just put it like this. I wouldn't want to use one on top of it on a tabletop. Although for years we did in kitchen cabinets. That said, we, we have some tougher guys on the market today. Now, this one right here is a Sherwin Williams. This is a, you see it, it's a, it's a pre cat. It means pre catalyzed. Now, in the case of Sherwin Williams, if you look on top, this was catalyzed on October 9th, 2013. They will typically catalyze it before they sell it to you. Now, a lot of pre-cats, Gemini, Mohawk, um, ML Campbell, theirs is pre-mixed. So they all have a few little differences, but by and large, they're all the same. Um, then we have what's called a CAB. It's an acrylic. And this is CAB. Now, CAB... What does that mean? It's an acrylic lacquer, okay? Meaning the, the others are made from a nitrocellulose, which is wood and whatever fibers that you have to Google it and look it up. But bottom line to it is the acrylic lacquer is use, using man-made acrylic resins. The one of the things with the, with the acrylic is that it does not yellow. And it was developed particularly back, if you recall, uh, you know how furniture fads and kitchen cabinet fads and all this come about and everybody was pickling oak cabinets they were putting the white they were taking a white paint or a white stain and working it into the grain in it and they called it pickling and then there was a big thing about using the white maples hard maple and white bird's eye maple and whatever and they wanted it to stay white well that's where the acrylic lacquers came in. They're often referred to as water white. And again, they don't yellow, they're an acrylic. Now, are they tough? Yes, they are. Okay, on a scale of one to four, since we've got four, one to three, because we've got a nitrocellulose lacquer, we've got a pre-cat lacquer, and we have a C acrylic lacquer. Your pre-cat lacquers are predominantly what's used in the furniture, industry and in commercial cabinets. The reason, unless they're doing the white stuff. Now the reason for that is, is that they're fast and they're very durable. Um, that's just the main reason. They do hold up. They're, now, predominantly they like the pre-cat because it has some other stuff in it, but it also has a night cellulose. Now, one of the things that you're going to find with a nitrocellulose lacquer is in as much as the finish goes, there's n not a whole lot that's much friendlier to use than it is. It scuffs well, it fills well, and it looks good. I'm going to go out here on a limb and tell you up front, my favorite solvent-based finish forever death. Not the most durable. But if you're doing a high-end furniture project, 
that's not going to be taking a lot of abuse or wear, something like a set of, you know, chest of drawers or, you know, a little nightstand or something like that, or you're doing picture frame. I mean, something's not going to get a lot of wear and tear. There's no finish in the world that I'm aware of that's easier to work with and looks better on wood than death. But for years, we used the Sheridan Williams moisture resistant. It did well. Uh, we've got a lot of furniture in all of our family's houses that's got both of them on it. Um, that said, one of the other issues that you have nowadays, and this is December something, 2013, depth is kind of hard to find. Now, to understand that very quickly, Deft was bought out by a company called PPG, and anyway, they have a different dealer structure and whatever, so you used to be able to find it at Lowe's, you could find it at Home Depot, you could find it at some of the Ace Hardware stores and different places. I did notice that Walmart has the Deft listed. Uh, I haven't been there to check it, but the other thing with it is, is that, uh, but they only show the spray cans. Now, that said, we went and was able to get Deft through the Do It Best hardware stores. Um, if you go to their website, you can order it. The other thing is, is that if you order it and have it, and there's a store that is convenient to you, or one that you can get to, if you can have it shipped to the store, there's no shipping charge. Now that's an issue. That's a that that's a big deal because you're going to have a hazmat shipping fee. Now, you poor guys out in California and Canada and a few other places around, not going to happen. You just can't get it. So you're kind of stuck with the water base. Now, I'm going to say one other thing. Uh, I mentioned this before, and I'm going to... One of the things I like about death is death has this... It, it, it just has a feel... It has that warm butter. I mean, it just feels great. Um, yeah, and and the spray bomb touch of a depth. I mean, if you got a little, if you touch something up with it, give it, a, it just burn right in. You can't even tell it's there. The other thing is, um, but again, we've got the, the issue getting it. The in my personal opinion, the water base companion to it meaning something that works easily and has a good feel, is the Sherwin-Williams Chem Aqua Plus. But as I understand it, you guys in California, Central Cal, you can't even get that. Okay, so without all of that, my next choice would be the General Finishes um, High Performance. It's, it's an acrylic-based finish as well. Uh, I will also tell you this, that, uh, and I'll tell you another one I like that has a good feel, the same thing, is uh, the Target BM6000. I know they've got some others, but I'm just familiar with the 6000 series, and it has a good looking feel. Again, it's an acrylic, and I've said this before, and I'm going to keep saying it. I'm far, I like the acrylic finishes far better than I like the polyurethane. Just me, and the durability factor of it has just proven to be, yeah, they work. Okay, that's lockers.